Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back from more extended timeline, where we're bloody insane. Move out, gentlemen. We march. We shall conquer the desert. Pretty much, at least that's the plan. Um, getting groups over to Gahana is going to be tricky, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Good. Uh, we're just going to attack the natives and uh, put them out of their misery. Because if we're going to get our, if we're going to fight our way through here, we are going to kind of need. Really? First off, that costs 90 military power. Okay, now it's only 79. We only inflicted that many casualties. All right, fuck it. We're not going to be able to. Whatever. We can use Kanembor New as a resting point, thankfully, because Gahana and them are allied somehow. They aren't rivals. I have yet to figure that out. Three soldiers in Georgia. Apparently, it used to be 85, yeah. Except the petition. They don't hate me anymore, at least. Eh, it'll work. I'm going to assume Kanem Bornu joins in. Good, good. Because we kind of need to, uh, you know, access them. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is this is gonna work great for you with four thousand men. <laughs> if they survive, I will eat my own hat. This well, they might. I take that back. I'm not eating a hat. But <laughs> that was still a terrible idea on your part, there, Kenan Borneo. Good job. Gahana. Oh, uh, that's. It's it's a habit, um, because there's there's another word that's spelt pretty much the exact same that's pronounced that way. I know it's wrong. Um, I apologize, but um, it's actually from the world of darkness, which is an old tabletop and uh, um, uh, wow, an old tabletop RPG. Um, and the end of the world was called Gahana, so and it was it's spelt pretty much the same uh, as that. Ghana, there. I believe it is actually pronounced that way. Um, and it's just, you know, yeah, there you go, Nug Life, Ghana. That's, that's how it's actually spelled. <laughs> Somebody in the chat put it. Um, it's the end of the world, so I, every time I read it that way, I just, I just default to that. It's because it's freaking, like, years of conditioning from that, that's all. There's little quirks like that. You know, our old there died in a hunting accident. I was mildly pissed about that, but to be fair, you know what? We got a new one, and he's even better. I'll take him. And now we have the Goths dynasty, because why not? You, uh, I see, have wisely decided to... <laughs> Never mind, I was going to say you wisely decided to recall your forces, but that was Gahana's forces. Rise. Why do our kings live to be 20 years old? I cannot, for the life of me, figure this out. Every fucking time. Also, on a serious note, have I not been paying, keeping track of these rebels? No, no, I have not. <laughs> I, I am mildly concerned that we are going to end up in a fucking PU at this point. With the Goths. But, like, that is how insanely unlucky I have been with these damnable kings. It's getting really worrying. Okay, or at least we have a general on him. That'll do. We have cavalry, they don't. So we have that going for us. Um, we do have better morale. And slightly better discipline. <laughs> At least I got the war declared. This is true. This is very true. But seriously, if we end up in a PU under the fucking Goths, I am going to be mighty pissed off. Uh, uh, I am also never, under any circumstances, getting another fucking royal marriage. Because my luck is that shitty. Like, I just can't. Alright, so, yeah, Mercurian Vassal can definitely be done, and it shall. 
Basically, the goal out here will be to vassalize both Kanem Borneo and Gahana. And declare sub-Saharan superiority. Is this going on YouTube? Yes, it is. I think Kanem in this mod is a bit broken. Yeah. <clears throat> the problem is there's nothing to spend money on for the first couple hundred years. And it's really, really, really weird. Um, increase attempts. There was a revolt in Costa, but apparently that went away. Whoops. I'm sorry about my mic. Um, get him. Yeah, there you go. Good. Alright. <clears throat> Keep killing them until they drop. Dead. There. They're dead. It's the way I like it. Alright. That probably failed make being made into a core. Oh well. That's okay. Well, you could get a P on another nation. That would require me to not lose my monarchs every five years. Let's face it. Like... I am too fucking unlucky for that. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a PU in this game. No, no, I haven't. I don't think I ever have. Not fucking once. When it comes to personal unions in EUs, the game's normal skills for EU3. I think I only ever got one in EU3. Uh, I am just unlucky as shit. <laughs> like, I could not, I cannot hope to get a PU ever. It is a, just not going to happen for me. <laughs> Like, like, there is a 0% chance of it for me. <laughs> yeah, no, there's... Yeah. RP Jesus just hates you. Yeah, pretty much. RNG Jesus hates me. RN Jesus. He hates me. Doesn't Austria have an increased chance of getting PUs? Like, or something? I don't know. Something like that. Get that core done. Alright. Most of the cores will be done in a reasonable amount of time, at least. Alright, I think they're willing to give in now. Now, the reason that we have to, uh... Ah, whoops. Wrong one. Just... The reason we have to vassalize them as opposed to actually taking any land, due to the whole, um, distance shit and all that into being overseas, we can't actually core these provinces, so we need to take them as vassals. So as such, we shall. Kanem Bornu has become our vassal. Alright, cool. Uh, no, you, you guys are just gonna go that way. Now, we only need to walk over three land to get to Gahana, the next place. Let's march, gentlemen. It's a long way to go. I feel like I should probably link them together. That way we have to face less uh, natives in general. I feel like that's prudent. Bajapur? Sure, let's use it. I think that's in India somewhere. Eh, yeah, somewhere. I don't know. Ah, there it is. Well, we have to core what we have first before we keep going. All right, word gal, here we are. All right, cool. We have pulled it off. We have reached our destination. And there we can see G Ghana's troops. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> if our new subjects will colonize Canada, I hope not. Alright. We can push our way through here, though. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Overextensions... Just about to start going away, thankfully. Looks like. Uh, and then we can probably, hopefully, 
maybe conquer the rest of the tip of India. Then we'll get on to Ceylon and Maldives. Actually, are we ever going to be able to... No, we can't. Huh. Maldives are a problem. We will never actually conquer them, probably not, at least. Unless I can piss them off enough. Ceylon. Yeah, if I conquer all their rivals, eventually they'll rival me, right? Right? That's how it works. I don't know. I'm trying to get them embargo me. It's the only way I'll get a cost is Belize, because I can't fabricate a claim on that island. Because it's an island without a sea zone attached to any province. Damn. Alright, we're holding here. We're out of men, though. Bit of a problem, if I do say so myself. And as I kind of knew, uh, we can make them a curry and vassal. Very nicely. Where is... There's no length of war issue here, huh. Alright, not by me. Kanem Bornu doesn't seem too interested in uh, helping out the jerks. Alright, let's let these guys recover a bit at least. We have, uh, you know, we've got two of their provinces now. So it's gonna hurt on them. A fair bit. Alright. Eh, not great, but he's got one siege to him. Alright, that's pretty ballsy of you. I'm gonna move you here. Because then they have to go around extra far through the natives. They are going to have a lot of casualties doing that, I'm afraid. Or I can maybe force them to run back and forth. That'd be fun, too. Whatever. Either way, they're stuck out there. And, uh... They're taking damage and they can't reinforce as far as I can tell. They aren't able to reinforce in these provinces, from what I know. Yeah, no, you're not. As I kind of expected. Yeah. So, I can force them to run back and forth. Which is pretty glorious. Uh... Yeah, sure. Either way. Oop. Nope. I should go and finish them off out there. Go for the kill. Or at least force a retreat out of them. Fucking pretender rebels, really? Whatever. We keep the siege up. <laughs> we'll have to pretty much occupy everything. Can uncolonized land form a nation? What? <laughs> I'm going to assume that you have some degree of intelligence and what you actually... Okay, we fight them three times. Four times. The fuck was that? We just fought the same fucking rebels four times in a fucking row there. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So, let's see. Ah, yes. Asia is given into Arianism. With, with really how much of it was Arian, do you really expect anything else to happen? This is God's world now. We have pretty much eradicated all other beliefs. Oh, hey, Buddhism is starting to enter Japan. That'll happen, and uh, Shinto will also start entering the region as well, and there'll be a bit of a competition. We'll pay a thousand gold. How about we don't? The answer is no. You, you will die out there. How you have any manpower left, I'm yet to figure out. Um... And again, I suppose it would make sense. Alright. But, uh, what I'm suggesting it when, uh, you meant uncolonized land into 
a nation. I think you mean will nations appear in uncolonized land? And yes, yes they do. Ooh, that's a death. Split you in half. We occupy your remaining land. You'll become our vassal whether or not you like it. Finish them. Alright, that's that. They've lost. And we got two shiny new vassals, and we have a call for peace. We will, uh... Yeah. How'd you guys see beyond Ghana? I didn't. It is a war of Mercurian aggression. I paid two stability for it. Many people forget that you can do that. It is always an option. Um, so that's kind of a thing. I guess the entire country needs him, because that area's already got reinforced or whatever. Alright, cool. And so ends the saga of an independent Ghana. There we are. Our work here is finished. Now, now we just have to make the horrifying trek back across the Sahara Desert. <laughs> oh, God. Leading vassal, leading vassal, leading vassal. We have military access to the Ghassanids, and we're allied to the Lacanids. Yeah, we can cut the Lacanids alliance. It's pointless to have. Much better. Not that it really matters, but you know. There. Problem solved. Alright. So, yes. Well, there. Their army is reunited. I don't think they'll ever actually help us, but that's okay. They will be annexed someday. And then, it will be good. How long has this been going on? Since the year 5880, it is now 555. Five. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're almost home. This only cost us all of our manpower. You know, not the worst thing ever, I suppose. Seriously. What is this crap? Need to declare war on Byzantium. Another shit and just give provinces back to the Mamluks. Alright. Eh. Byzantium's attacking Quiddy again. Yeah. We're going to have to uh, take these regions. They belong to Dacia. Historically and stuff. You know. But. Oh well. That's the thing. Francia is taking over the Netherlands and will likely eventually form, I guess, uh, Charlemagne's Empire? <laughs> I, I'm not exactly certain what to call it, but I guess that will probably eventually happen. Ah yes, and even more nations out here are appearing, and some of them have already converted to various religions. This sounds about right, as Christianity pretty much wipes everything out very quickly. You know, it does do that. And slowly it all spreads. So yeah. Orthodox is kind of spreading there. Arianism is spreading here. We'll see who claims more down here. We will see. Uh, hmm. That's going to do, I think, for the day. That's going to do for the day. Yeah. Mercantilism is right. So, thank you everybody for watching, and say hello to our two new vassals. Who, uh, when we annex, will actually become colonial nations. <laughs> uh, we will... Yeah. Pretty much all of Gahana belongs in colonial Mali. So, uh, there's that. These guys won't actually form a colonial nation because half of them is in one side and half of them is in another. Which is really weird, but meh, it happens. It happens. Alright, so, 
thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.